Well, it is Friday, and we're sending you off into the weekend with Fine Arts Friday. If you like true crime and comedy, this next play is for you. Arsenic and Old Lace is coming to One Upstate Theater, showcasing a family's deep, dark secrets. And joining me now from the Milltown Players in Pelzer is Cameron, Alex, and Jesse. Thank you all so much for stopping in. Hello. Thank you for having us. Of course. So tell me a little bit about Arsenic and Lace. What is it? Well, it's about? okay. So it's a dark comedy that's okay. all about about this strange family and these two aunts who have a knack for poisoning old men. And okay. so it's about the nephew figuring out about it and the brother comes back to town and there's a bunch of crazy characters and a bunch of crazy things happen. Suddenly my family drama does not seem as bad. It could be worse <laughs> is what I'm gathering. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about each of your characters. Well, I play uh, the nephew Mortimer Brewster and he is the one who discovers the dead body and he's basically trying to keep everything together and trying to keep everybody in check and so the cops don't find out and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Jesse? Well, he's, I think what he forgot to tell you is he's kind of the, every family has this certain mentality. He's the, the sheep, the gentle <laughs> lamb of the family. Okay. Jonathan Brewster. He's the black sheep. Every family has a black sheep. So if you like prosthetic foreheads, plastic surgery, <laughs> and murder, <laughs> Jonathan Brewster is your man. So if that's what you're looking for, that's what you'll find in my character. And then I'm playing the third brother, Teddy, okay. who is slightly delusional, believes he is President Theodore Roosevelt. Okay. He's very loud, boisterous, and fun. And that's my part. I don't get to do any killing or mm. solving of murders. I just You do hide dead bodies fun. though. Spoiler alert. Oh, spoiler, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. There is spoiler. hiding of a dead body. Okay, you guys are really intriguing me right now. It's family <laughs> oh, Yeah, we should put that out there. Okay, that's good to know. I know this was a movie back in 1944. So what's it like kind of getting to bring this classic film to the stage? Oh, it's it's crazy. It's, it's cool watching the old movie and being inspired by that, mm. but also having our own fresh take on everything and making everything feel new and it's like its own original version, you know, and um, it's been a a lot of fun. It's been so much fun. I feel like whenever you put on a dark comedy, it's pretty fun, but are there any challenges when preparing something like this? I, I think I, I think the kind of the hardest part about this is like it's got so many different characters and so many plot lines happening and it's all trying to tie them in together and trying to keep everything crazy but also very condensed and it, it's so much fun. Like it's an amazing set, too. He's not going to talk too much about himself. But he designed it, <laughs> built it, put it together, and this set will, you'll feel like you are in 1939 Brooklyn. Oh, yes. You come here. It's amazing. Every little detail from the candy corn to the pictures yeah. on the walls, you're going to feel like you're a part, you're sitting in that living room with it. And it's really amazing, the lighting, the sound, the stage, the set, the carpentry, yes. the artistry. <laughs> It's as good as it gets. Yeah. I was going to say, we were just looking at photos of the set. That is stunning. That looks like high caliber level of a set, so I'm very impressed. And that's community theater. That's amazing. And very affordable. Yes, <laughs> very affordable. And on a budget. We love to hear <laughs> that. Well, it is opening night, so how are we feeling? Are we ready? We're excited. We're, we're excited. excited. Couldn't be a better night. Friday the 13th. Yes, <laughs> yes. Start the autumn season yeah. with Milltown's 10th season. And Ooh. pills are. I was, oh, yeah. was going to say break a leg, but I feel like maybe you don't say that on Friday the 13th because you never know what would happen. You never know. We got stairs in the show. Okay, so, so don't break a leg, <laughs> but do a great job. That's what we'll go with? That's what we'll yeah. Do. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by for Fine Arts Friday. Of course, if you are interested, Arsenic and Old Lace is debuting at Milltown Players tonight. That is located on Levy Street in Pelzer. It's running through October 22nd, and tickets are just $15. Of course, for more information, you can head to our website. That is foxcarolina.com.